bang. Buying our body suits today. Oh yeah, do you like mine? Body suiting. Mine's from Pretty Little Thing. Yeah, that's I like yours that. from. Oh, it's not see through either, that's nice. Yeah. That's good. Mine's from, okay. J Lux. A lot of you asked about my necklaces. They're from J Lux label and so is the bodysuit and I really recommend it. It's stunning. But you do have to pay tax if you order from J Lux. But it's not that much. Like I ordered these necklaces, this bodysuit, the knit that I wore in the boy talk and the trousers and mm. I think it was like £15 oh. tax. So, um, I mean, in the not, grand scheme of things, yeah. 15 and I got forty percent off my whole order. So it's, I was like, you know what? It's it balanced out. I do recommend, but it yeah, does I take recommend a while to arrive because it give is it, coming from afar. Give it a good, good, healthy they, week. Yeah, they say ten to twelve days, and I think mine came on the twelfth day. So give it two weeks then. Yeah, a healthy. No next day delivery. Yeah, no, no, no. Anyway, right, so here we are looking all lovely and glam. And just glam life, you know. We're gonna do like, instead of a get ready, we're gonna do a more, cause we've never ever done like an in-depth, like this is what we're doing on our face. And to be never. honest, mine's changed quite a bit recently. Yeah, you've transformed. I've you've really just have. off. I really have, like I've tried all these new <gasps> things that I'm loving. So, so yeah, we're gonna do like our our typical face of makeup, you know. We what only we wear, have one face of makeup. Yeah, what we wear to like film, you know, just a classic yeah. makeup face. And we're gonna try and not babble too much and just keep it about the makeup. This is about the makeup. Not about what we're not about, about what's going on in our lives. This is but we might go off on tangents. We can't make no promises. But we but are gonna film. Side a... note, we're already going off. Let's just try and stay focused. I wanna show you my new makeup set. That. Brush set. Woo! Basically. Nothing like a fresh pot basically, of new. Basically, I was like, you know what? I don't have any nice makeup, but I have like free makeup brushes. I'm still on those old ones I got when mm. I was like 15. Exactly. Okay, maybe, maybe more like And 17. I was like, I need a set. So I went on Morphe. Where was the set from? This is oh. called the vegan set. It's called the like superior vegan set. And how much was that? I got like a discount code on it, and I'm sure it was like forty pounds. But for a whole set, for a whole set, like you've got all these. Br so I'm buzzing, and I used that's them a good for the thing first to ask time for yesterday. for Christmas, actually, guys. Yeah. We'll link it below if we can find. Because I was watching. You know, what I was watching. I was watching all the videos about Kylie's makeup brush set the yeah. 360 dollar one and they're all saying how morphe is so cheap and just as and better oh. so then i just i just had an urge to just to order, order some makeup brushes okay right. so we've already ranted so let's Crack just get on with the show so this is our typical so makeup. i've already moisturized same and then I'm we gonna... use nivea it's a lovely moisturizer it's nivea face and body and it's 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 so hydrating it's like two yeah. pounds it's lovely. Was that Vaseline? Or yeah. Me? So we're both gonna start with. We both conceal before we put foundation on. We conceal foundation because conceal. just to even out the skin tone before you put Something the foundation about it on. Something makes the foundation look better. I know loads of people ask why. I don't know. I just, something about it. There's something about it. Because it like evens you out of it before you put the foundation on. Mm. It just makes it look better. And I don't have professional on me right now, but I would put some professional around my T-zone, chin, forehead. And what we both use, we've used this literally for years. I will use some on my wedding day. Oh. It's the Lasting Perfection Collection Concealer. And we both use, are you using Fair or are you yeah. using Lemon? We're fair. both using Fair, which one. is number one. But um, they have one called Lemon, which is also number one. But Well, it's like more yellow undertones yeah. for like redness. Or is that for redness? And I put it round my mouth like so. And then if I've got any spots, like just a pop. Yeah, older. I always put a bit under my eyes, down the sides. Yeah, see, Sophia does it under her eyes, and I don't. That's Just a different. bit on the chin. And then I'm taking my small Real Techniques beauty blender thing and just smashing that into my face. Where Just to where some blemishes are, you know. There's something about, if you've never done this before, you I really recommend. should try it. And it is way lighter than you need to be, but... I just fully recommend it. I would never think about not putting concealer on before foundation. Oh, me too. Sometimes I forget and I'm like, shit. Yeah. Well, one time I almost put foundation on before I did my concealer. I was like, oh my God, what am I doing? And this concealer is so good, honestly. I swear by it. Like, I feel like 
obviously never say never but i feel like I, now now i've got this i could never walk into a shop and pay like 40 uh, pounds for I concealer know. when this is literally like is it 3.99 3.99 four pounds like sometimes it's on three for two that's true like honestly girls if you haven't tried this and guys you really should try it I mean, if you're from, if you've got, if it's available to you. I mean, there's one foundation concealer that I do want to try, which is the shot, um, Charlotte Tarte, Tilbury. no, the Tarte Shape Tape. Apparently, it's incredible. Ooh. Right, so after I've done that, bam, 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 bam. This, right, I'm sorry, this is my new favourite. I prefer this to Fenty. I haven't tried this yet. Do you want to try it today? Yeah. Okay, Great. okay, so usually, guys, in, in all our past to videos, be fair, I have used that. we've been using Fenty Beauty, and we are both get the shade 290. Um, so it's yeah. great for oily skin. If you're dry, do not get it, because it dries so matte, and it dries so quick. But if you're oily, if you've done, like, a, a, mo a good moisturise, mm. like, it's, I love this. This is my favourite foundation I've tried so far, and that's what we've been using, because you guys have been asking. So this is Fenty Beauty, but we're going to, I'm going to try this Okay, new so one this today. is my new favourite, and this is by Collection, and it's, the, so it's the sister to the concealer. Concealer. And it's the Lasting Perfection one. What shade's this? And this is in shade Cool Vanilla 6, and this is a perfect, like, tan shade. It's so not too dark. Good, I fucking love it. I've used it about five times now what's it well we'll see it's oh, amazing I, I i fully sophia fully am in love right and the coverage honestly let's just pump it right on the face Do i've been wanna... doing that as well pumping straight on the face sorry you're running i'm yeah, gonna get this quick open. quick i okay. can't okay i've got it I've okay got it, okay it. okay and then just and it's good i prefer it because it doesn't dry as quick as fenty you can take your time with it so if, Okay. You know, because with Fenty, you kind of have to rush. Yeah. Because it dries really quick. Oh, it's quite dark, but quite like it. Yeah, it's a really oh, good definitely shade. definitely a tan shade. Oh, it's a really good shade. Yeah, if you actually, um, especially if you're using beauty blenders, if you just squirt it straight onto your face, um, I feel like it saves product. Yeah, because if you it, put it straight onto it, or even on the back of your hand, you're losing product. Yeah, I feel like it soaks in the beauty blender a yeah. lot more. Oh, I like this. Yeah. Some more. And we're both using Real Technique. Where is it? In here. Real Technique Beauty Blenders. Which are just as good as the real thing, TBH. To be fair, when I first got it, I wasn't getting along with it. But oh yeah, you didn't like it, did you? I've definitely got in the swing of it now, and I do feel like it is very similar. I mean, and it is a fraction of the price. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah, no. I love it. Do you like it? I'm really enjoying this, actually, yeah. 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 It's a lovely shade. It feels really quite, like, the coverage is great. And it's collection. Do we yeah. know how much this is? I mean, it can't be more than a tenner. I mean, if it's more than a tenner, it's got to be about £12. Yeah, because collection is a cheap... Yeah. Well, yeah, well, it's a lower... Well, it's inexpensive, isn't it? It's drugstore. It's definitely not as much as the Fenty. No. Is Fenty it? is... How much 26. is it? 26 and I do love it, like, it is, it it's is. worth it. I'm glad I got it. It's great, isn't it? I'm glad you got it too. I'm just gonna do a one more for just a bit more coverage. I like this. I Definitely more of a tan shade. It looks it's like a great on camera, shade. But, uh, because we're sitting, maybe we should invest in a ring light. I know, I think so, maybe. Because we always, we sit in front of this big window and we I feel like it really overexposes us sometimes. Because uh. I look in this mirror and I'm like, yeah, so quite brown. Quite and then I'm looking in here and I'm thinking, hmm, looking quite pale. Yeah. So, or not pale, but just not as brown as real life. So maybe we should invest in a ring light. I mean, if anyone knows a good place to get a ring light from, then where should I put this? Just pop it in there. Then um, put the lid on. Let us know where's a good place to get a ring light from because we could probably do with it. Oh, it's SPF 20. Oh, even oh my better. God. Not that we need protection Last... from the sun on a day to day no, basis. No, I know. Here. Jesus. And it's oil free. Brilliant. That's for up to 16 hours. Wow. Okay, so after we've done foundation, I'm going to go back in with the same Me concealer too. we used. And this time I'm just under eyes and just a bit on the chin. I don't put it on my chin, I just whack it under the uh, eyes. I do quite a lot here, but you know. Uh, but you blend it out and yeah. it blends into your foundation a bit. And it just if anything i think this is a good tip you know sometimes if you put a foundation on that maybe you think it's a bit too dark if you do have a lighter concealer um i feel like it does oh yeah that's true bit. if you popped like it on the bridge of your nose around your mouth it will lighten your face yeah up. definitely oh yeah that's a good point yeah thank you Bend. 
Over blend it, blend, blend it. it down a bit. I don't know. I just like I try to blend the concealer as well, like almost upwards to the side of my nose. Yeah, me too. Adds a bit of a contour, natural just contour. Just a bit, yeah. And on the, um, I just push it onto my eyelids as well. I've been cream contouring also when yes, I can. Chintzy has got into cream contour. when I can be asked. So I'll show you what I'm doing now. We used to this cream contour back in the day. Oh, literally. And I'm years talking ago. like back in the day day because if you watched our New York vlog, we used to use the Fit Me sticks mm. by is it by who are they by? Uh, the the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation sticks. And we used to get a dark one and yeah. we used to use it as contour. But yeah, I so I what use are you doing with this? this collection concealer in the shade medium deep five and for me it's a great contour shade so what i do is oh, i just do that. like that there first do you see yeah and then i'll just blend that out blend it up not down yeah like that bring it onto the cheeks a bit and it does just add wow it's beautiful do you see you might wow. do you see, yeah, you can see on cam and then i do the other cheek just the same again I don't know. I just, I, I just. And again, really that's like three it. pounds, isn't it? Yeah, it's four pound, isn't it? It's just the concealer. Bargain. You know, I'm, I'm, it adds a bit of coverage at the same time. Yeah. Um, and then also, I'll pop it on my forehead, so just along here. You know what that would be good for as well? You know, on the days where you don't actually want to put a foundation on, because mm. sometimes, like, if I'm just not doing, like, just going around someone's house, just not really feeling like I want to yeah. put, like, makeup on, I'll just put, like, a bit of concealer, like what I put on at the very start and a bit of bronzer, but that would be equally as good, wouldn't it? Yeah. To put more of a, um, what's it called? A, like, a, is it a liquid? Not yeah. Rather than a powder bronzer, yeah, 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 you know, yeah, 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 use yeah, a yeah, concealer, yeah, yeah, yeah. more dewy. Yeah, so I'm loving this. That looks lovely. It's a very bronzy glow, isn't it? It is. Like, I feel like... It just gives you some shape to your a face. A bit on my... Just because just I... Yeah. Okay, so... Um, Would I, I be able to borrow your Kiko Yeah. Powder, I am going to set my under eyes, what I've just done, with this translucent powder. And this is number seven translucent powder. And I'm going to set mine with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade Fair Light. And we always put it on But I used to blender. use that. That's just as good. And I think this is around the £10 mark. I'm just going to make sure that there's no creasing under my eyes. Like so. I always put it under my eyes and then just put the excess just kind of where I put it on my chin and around my mouth. Because I always get um, crease lines when I smile. Yeah. So if I do this, I find it helps just a smidge. We don't, I don't brush this off. We just kind of pat it into our skin, Yeah, because you'll we? see what we use next. Yeah, so I just go like this around my face and then I'll put a bit on my forehead. I and just I kind of... go in with a bit more. I just push this in now. I don't really budge it. I try and just push it in with a beauty blender. I'm putting it on with the beauty blender. I feel like it really helps kind of keep the under eyes bright. Yeah, to some. Rather than like brushing it all away. I like this powder because this is a slightly more yellow tone to that. Yeah. Um. And I feel like this number seven is really good because sometimes if I don't have professional, I find that if you actually put this on like under your eyes, it really does help to like blur out the pores. Mm -hmm. And next we both go in with this. So we, what is it actually called? The Kiko Weightless Perfection Wet and Dry Powder Foundation in the shade N95. Oh, that's different to the one I had. Yeah, it's different to the one you had. Basically, I bought a new one and I bought the wrong shade. And it's way too dark. But yeah, then I'll just pat it over, the just foundation. like the, the foundation and the bacon. I'll put it all over the contour. And I like I prefer to pat than swirl. Yeah. So that you don't disturb. I'm gonna pop it on my nose for And nose. again, it helps just to give you a bit, not that you probably need more coverage, but just, just to settle everything in it place. It does just make you look more flawless as well because it um I don't know, because it adds a yeah, because it and then I'll adds just, a bit more colour. Go as under well. my eyes a bit. Like it's that. hard to see on camera, but it does give you um, more of a colour. Oh, a million percent. We do look really quite washed out here. We should definitely get a ring light, because I'm looking in the mirror and we're looking quite brown, but then we're not. Yeah. Okay, so next I'm going to bronze. See, next we I'm going to go different orders here. Brows. 
So for bronzer, a lot of you ask, this is the L'Oreal Glam Bronze. Well, should I just bronze with you? Okay, bronze with me. And it, this is the shade 02. It's called Glam Bronze La Terra Sun Powder Face and Body. It's but it's really good. And we and, love this um, for our... Bra uh, eyelids as well. Yeah, this is what we use. A lot of you guys ask us, like, what, you know, I should be using, and quite often it's just this I don't bronzer. really, yeah. This is, all, if, if there's ever anything on my eyes, it'll most Always likely be this be bronzer, this. yeah. And then I like to put a bit on my nose, just for a bit of a, yeah. makes just me look a light like dusting a in the sun. And then over onto the... And this is actually really good. Sometimes I find, like, if I'm looking a bit lighter than I want to be, I can literally put this on, like, my neck and mm. my chest, and it can make you look really bronze. If we've ever not, like, fake tan properly, we'll be like, oh, this we'll just will do the up. job. We'll just yeah. Up. So, yeah, we'll do that. And then, um, blush. I love this brush. Blush. I'm going to um, take one of my new, I'm going to take my new, one in the Millie Macintosh set was really nice but I forgot to bring it. Was it. Well I used this one, I literally got this three years ago and I actually think they still sell it. It's Milani Bake Bronzer in the, uh, blush I mean, in the shade Coralina 08 and it literally, it's still got the full thing and it's beautiful isn't it? Let's go in like that. And it's got a bit of a Shimmer. shine in it, so it's a bit of a highlight as well, so you can bring it onto your high points. And then I just put a bit, put a bit of it on my nose. Just for a subtle wash. Just like that. It makes, right, so now I'm going to do brows, a very important step for me. Um, so I'm not, not really look, a brow I've girl. A spoolie oh, now. Wow. I'm unfortunately not a brow girl myself. I literally just brush mine out. She literally doesn't do anything to her brows. But I use I this. Used, I used to. I used to like fill my brows in. But I look back and I'm like, God, that did not look yeah. good. And obviously I'd fill them in better now. But I still think like my face just looked very dark and very. Yeah. I think now my hair's lighter. I feel like I can just keep the brows that I've got oh, and just eye. stick with them. I agree. I use the collection eyebrow kit in brunette and it's just powders and you've got three powders there my favorite obviously is the middle i don't really use this dark one because it's literally jet black but sometimes when i'll mix these two together but mostly i'll just take the middle shade and i just take an angled brush any type of angled brush um, and then i literally just start filling them in so if you can see they're quite sparse, I had a bit of a pulling out sesh the other day when Chintia I was feeling a bit stressed. pulls out her eyebrows when she gets stressed. Yeah. You knew it was exam season when Chintia got no eyebrows left because she just pulls I'm not them out. And I can't imagine bad. pulling out my eyebrow but hairs. I really can't. I get a lot of satisfaction from pulling out, from seeing, from put, just... So I'm looking a bit sparse, but they grow back super quick, so I'm kind of blessed. Yeah. And then, so I'll run along the bottom first. Don't move. There we go. Just side note, while Chintzy's doing that, I'm just going to put a bit of eyeshadow on with the same bronzer that we just spoke so about. So I'll run along the bottom to sharpen that up. And then just like drag it through. I'm going to really try and explain what I do. Then drag okay. it through the tops. Uh, and then I'll go just down here again along the bottom. Because that's where I need most of my definition. Because they look a bit scatty when they're not. So I'll run along there like that, and then just like that. Run along the top a bit, like that. Sounds coming Ext out, I know, beautiful. I'm gonna extend. I'm gonna extend my. T oh yeah, we're in the like sun. Oh, gonna extend my tail a bit, just along the top a little, and sharpen my tail. And then whatever's left on my brush, I will run through the front. So then I'll just go like this. Just very lightly, because you'd never want that to be just like that. Like that. And then we've got one brow. Look at the difference. Brow less than Look at the difference in the camera, Sophia. Gap there. Oh, yeah. Let's just run that. And I'm just going to go under my eye with this smaller little brush with the same bronzer on, just under my um, lash line. So we're just running that through. For like some reason, so I feel like this 
um it doesn't come across as much on camera but in real life i feel like if you've got like a greeny eye Ooh, if you put yeah. the browns around your eye it really does bring out the green especially if you take it underneath a million percent i agree they're basically done Woo! with the browns the brown yeah, i don't set them with anything you know, no. like gels and stuff. Because no. I don't really feel the need, but I suppose it would be good if I did. Um, Maybe if you were having a super long day. Yeah. And, you know. Then I'm going to, again, do the same as Soph and go in with um, some bronzer on my lid and on my under lid. So I'm just going to take this brush from myself. Just a light dusting. Just a light. Because basically, it just ties it in with the rest of your face. Yeah. Makes I don't you look know. All together. Makes you look a bit more tanned. And it's just really easy, like you just smash it on. Try and do the ears, because sometimes, oh yeah, if I forget, I can just put bronzer on them. My there. ears get very red all the time. My, uh, and my these ears... people are talking about you, if your ears Is it? My eye... the wife's well, tail. There we go then. Okay, so I'm gonna do highlighter next, and this one I've really been liking, and it's literally, what, like three pounds or something? It's literally like, two pounds and um a few of you asked me on snapchat but i couldn't, didn't know what it was called so it's the revel makeup revolution revolution whatever and it's just called a strobe highlighter and this is in the shade gold addict and it's so amazing this camera doesn't really focus and it's so you can get the gist so yeah it's revolution and it's gold addict and, and it's i so actually cheap. I love using this to put it even on my eyes. You know, if you want more of like a glitter eye, maybe for a night out, um, this looks really nice on your eyes as well. And then I just use this MAC. I literally, my mum bought me this literally when I was like 14. Oh my God, yeah. And I've just always used it, but um, I like it. Well, I'm gonna go with my new favorite highlight. Now, Jesus Christ, this is stunning. I also try oh. and put this a bit under my brow bone. Just not, just um, a bit messy. Right. Um, highlights by Dull Light and it's a I shine it's bright. It's beautiful. Oh wow. And maybe a bit on the forehead there and then a light dusting on the end of my nose but I mainly concentrate it on the cheeks. So this is called Shine Bright. I don't know if it's got a specific colour but it's my new fave and I like putting it on with this little brush. It's just like a little eyebrow. Nifty thing. I, um, what's it called? Eyeshadow brush. And I don't know, there's something about it that just makes, right? And Maybe I it's just... because it's a small, dense brush look. you can really pack it on. Yeah, look. Look how beautiful. Yeah. Such a beautiful highlighter. Must be because it's a small, you know, yeah. bit on the tip of my nose. And I like to run it down there and a bit there as well now. Look, does that look nice? Does my nose look nice? Look at that. Yeah, lovely. Just like a bit there, a bit there. Oh wow. And then I'll take like a clean brush and just make sure that that looks a bit seamless and not too much. If you know what I mean. I'm gonna try my new Kiko lip thing that I bought. I think. Oh yeah. Okay, so for lips, I always tend to go for a nude gloss, nothing too, too. crazy. So the typical ones that I use, I love this, as you can see, because I've like used it all. And this is Subculture by MAC, which you bought me like years ago. Oh my Christmas. God, I did. And I love that. And then I also like Sub uh, Strip Down by MAC, which is more darker, a bit more brownie compared to Subculture. And then I've been using this new pink one from Millie Macintosh, which I don't know, it doesn't say what color this is. Lip liner. Oh, have you been using that from that thing? Yeah. Uh, okay, it doesn't say the colour, which is annoying, but maybe she only has one. I don't know. But it's this one, if that's any help. But this is more, um, a bit more pinky, so depends what kind of look you want to go for. But I think I'm going to use some culture Do you have and strip a good, um, sharpener. No, no, I haven't got one with me. Mine's shit. And then I always use, well, most of the time I use the Kiko glosses and these are incredible. They are I'm incredible. I'm telling you, these are the 3D Hydra lip gloss. I put them on my Instagram story because they're amazing. And the one I normally use is O2 and that's just like a clear, 
neutral gloss which just amplifies any lip colour and I've also got 03 which is more of a pinky one and then I've got this one the other day which is 19. This is my favourite one. So I'm going to use this one today because I haven't used this but normally I always just use this. This is my favourite one, it's a bit darker. This one's just like clear so any lip colour you put on put this on and it will just and they make it glossy. they smell delicious. Yeah. They smell like a Sweet factory. Sweet. Right, so I'm gonna go in with the Kylie liner that we got in um, New, New York. York. Kylie Jenner Exposed Lip Liner. New York. So I like to over overline my lips quite a bit because they're a bit non-existent when I don't have lip to hide. Then I'll just line. I tend to mix subculture and strip down most of the time. Oh, do you? Yeah. Just depends like, what I can to find. To be honest, also, there's loads and loads of lip liners which are basically the same. All the same, this. yeah. You go to NYX and they are, there's loads, or like Maybelline. Every single makeup line will carry like the same colour same liner. Use. So if you can't get your hands on like the Kylie one or MAC one, just go have a look there. And they're all the same. I am thinking about ordering candy. Does she even sell it anymore? Oh yeah, because we went to the pop-up shop in New York. Well, it was just a pop-up Kylie Cosmetics in a top shop. And um, the candy wasn't there. Mm. But maybe that's just because it's really popular. They can't, yeah, you know. Is it though? I yeah, know. I think candy's the most popular one, isn't it? I don't know. Because that was like the OG, like the first collection. Like, I feel like that's almost oh, always yeah, sold out. Oh yeah, because Dolce wasn't there either. No. Which is like the first shade, isn't it? Yeah. That and Candy and, and uh, that. They're like her staple shades almost, I feel like, aren't they? Um, but I suppose I'll put some gloss on. Can I borrow that gloss? But in the meantime, I'm going to do my lashes. And this is my favourite. This video was like a, a, a collection ad. Oh my god. But it's not. It's just great. So this is the collection lash surge. And it looks like that. And it's just incredible. Like... I don't know why it's so good. Do you think it's so much I better? I think it's incredible. Yeah, because I just started using it and I didn't really click on to how good my lashes look. But then when you all were saying how good my lashes look, I was like, oh. Oh, yeah. Shit. So then I'll just pop some of that on. And um, it's great. How much was it? Six ninety nine. Six ninety nine. yeah. I copped it the other day. Yeah, she did. So, yeah, we both use that. It does just make such a difference, doesn't it? Mascara really has changed everything. Yeah, so basically, that's all I'm going to do. I'm dyeing my hair back to d proper dark today. You know, you know, because listen to this. Liking. I saw a picture. Yeah. Oh, what picture was it? Of, of it was us two. And you it had like, two. you had like the chocolate hair. And I was meant to send it to you like, yeah, you should definitely get this back. But I can't remember uh, what picture it was. Well, I'm doing it today. Today? Yeah, because Dad was meant to do it the other day, but then he said when... It's Wednesday today, right? Yeah. All right, and he said Wednesday, so it doesn't take long, does it? He just has to put brown colour on. Yeah. I'm just going to ask for chocolate. Just because I look at Kim, you know, when she had a dark dark, yeah. and I'm like, oh, God, you know what? I, I know. need that. You know what I mean? I would love to have chocolate brown hair. See, I don't know... How I feel about that on you? Well, I suppose just because I've known you as a blonde my whole yeah. life. I feel as though at some point I've got to try it. Well, that's like me. I feel like at one point I need to be blonde, proper blonde. I think it would really suit you. Do you? Maybe think? we should do it at the same time and just switch and, and just confuse switch. everyone. That would be really fun. Because I feel like I would love to be... Oh, I'd love to be a blonde. Like a chocolate brown. Oh, well, there we have it. And that's what we've been doing. I hope this was very informative Me too. for you because... We're going to link the uh, products down below yeah. so you can just have a read and actually see what it is. I feel like our videos are never proper informative, informative. when it's like a get ready. Because you're always like, what Because we that? always just talk and blah, blah, blah. But I hope you actually learnt something. Absolutely. And I hope you go and get some of these products. Because genuinely, this is like my go-to every, single, every day. single day. Whether it's a daytime look or I'm going out. The if I'm going thing... out, I'll just put a deeper eyeshadow on. Yeah. And more bronze. I'll be more tan. Like Everything's mm. just amplified if I'm going out. Yeah. Like, it's the same product. I just put more on. Yeah. Literally. So, we'll do this in the day and night. Like, I wear this to work. Like, this is my face. Just the go-to. Like, if I'm putting on a face, this That's is the, the face, face I'm, I'm going to put on. on. Should we do a close-up? Hi. This is our face. That's what we look like. 
right then. Okay. I hope this was informative for you in Me some too. way, shape or form. I really do hope it was. And I hope those of you who've been asking for our everyday makeup, this satisfied your curiosity because this is what we do. So now, give us any tips, you know, give us some suggestions. If you've got any things that we should try, I really would like, Yeah, I, I actually am enjoying trying new things now, yeah. I suppose, you know what I mean? Um, I'm definitely going to try the, I think you should get it, the dark concealer. I feel as though it just adds to the bronze. Well, it does, because look at the difference. Your cheeks look oh, bronze, more bronze yeah. than mine, because you, look, if you turn to the side, bit yours deep, looks a bit yeah. deeper. You know, more around the front here, where yeah, the, I hear you. Yeah, so I'm loving that step. And um, also a good thing is, which we haven't done, if you put bronzer oh yeah, if there, we're night out. put bronzer there and put bronzer in there and then put highlight from here, just drag it with your finger Should to I there. Should I just show you the really makes it, it make when you just, because I did it last night actually. Yeah, oh, let's actually do it, come on. It really does make the difference. So you get your little brush, even just doing I'm this. I'm just going with the bronzer beneath. Like look at that. Look, bronzer beneath already look how much that popped you can there. just leave it at that bronzer underneath bronzer in there there we go look i could just do that and then just there you go i literally just use my finger you know when you've got your whole ch like oh, shoulders it out makes the world incredible it really literally really does. put my finger in it and just drag Brilliant. it along and i think put it there as well for the extra pop thanks very much for watching i hope this was somewhat I hope, I hope you enjoyed. Um, um, it was a very informative video. I feel as though it was a quite serious. Yeah. Like, listen here. Listen, this is what we're using. You know? Um, if you've got any videos you want us to film, let us We've got a few new ideas oh, we're going to bring ideas. to the table. And um, Merry Thanks Christmas. For watch. Yeah, oh my God. Joya Noel. Wait, they'll see. Feliz Navidad. They will see. They'll see this. They'll, they'll see another one before it's Christmas, won't they? Yeah, they should Thank God. Whew. All right then. Love ya. Ooh. Bye. Come <laughs> <laughs>